Hi, my name is Stephen, aka The Starman. Welcome to my new channel, Starman Astro. I've just created this channel because I want to help people who are interested in taking pictures of space, astro photography. Have you ever seen those grand pictures of the Milky Way and stars? Those, are, those amazing pictures that you see. You've probably seen them online with the, with the Milky Way going across the, the, the photograph and some amazing landscape. Well, that's the sort of thing that I do. I, I do it quite a lot. Um, I just love it so much. I got into astronomy in 2010 and I knew very little, very, very little about the, the stars. But I was a photographer at the time. So what I've done in, in, the, in the years since then is I've brought the two together. I started taking pictures of space with my camera when I got into astronomy. And since then it's developed and developed. And now I'm taking the kind of pictures now that you can see on the screen. So what I want to do with this new channel is to help viewers develop their photography of space. So I decided to, a little bit reluctant, well not really reluctantly, but I thought, I've seen a few people do videos <coughs> on astro photography, astro landscapes, and I thought, I want to do my own because it's something I love so much. I'm doing it. I'm going to do more. I've got more planned in 2018. I'm going to be getting out to as many places as I can, as many places that I can afford to get to. And I'll probably do some vlogs while I'm out and about to show how I set up these type of pictures. What I tend to do, what I really like to do is to go to get as far away from lights as possible that's artificial light see i live in a town which gives off quite a lot of light and not only here but all of the towns around there's a lot of light pollution up there that doesn't mean that you can't take a picture of the stars or, or even nebulas like the orion nebula even you can take a picture of the orion nebula probably from your back garden if you use the right settings but i really like to get out to dark places that are far away from town because that's when you really start to see the the detail in the galaxy if you choose the right time of year because that's important as well we'll touch on that in later videos but for now in this introductory video i just want to tell you about what i'm planning to do now i use a camera and this is the sort of camera that i use it's just a regular dslr camera this particular one has quite a fast lens on it. Lenses are quite important. If you've got a, a DSLR that's, say, no more than about five years old, that should be really good for, for, for astrophotography. The older ones tend to be a little bit noisy when you turn the ISOs up because you tend to be using fairly high ISOs. So your lens as well is quite important because you want to collect as much light as possible onto your sensor. So th this lens is an f2.8 lens. It, it means that it opens up, it lets more light in than some of your cheaper lenses, like your kit lens that you would get on your camera, wouldn't let quite as much light in as this one. So I, I choose a faster lens. You don't have to, uh, but as you as you get along and as you do more and you want to get better, you might want to, to look at a faster lens to help you uh, gather more light. So I hope that you'll join me and subscribe to my channel because I'm hoping to do quite a lot more videos. I'm hoping to put, at this moment, I'm hoping to put one out per month, which might not sound like a lot, but hopefully that's only, you know, I'm, I'm hoping I'll put maybe one out every couple of weeks, maybe, on my adventures, on average. So I'm looking forward to 2018 because I've got many plans to drive, to drive as far away to some of the amazing places. I've been literally around the world to do what I do. Literally around the world. I've been to, last year for instance, I, vis I uh, visited USA to watch the total eclipse. And that was something which I probably wouldn't have done 
10 years ago because I wasn't really, I was interested, but I wasn't that interested that I wanted to travel to see an eclipse. I traveled to places like Arizona. I've been to Tenerife. Tenerife is a great place in Europe, not, not very far away from, from me, four and a half hour flight. Very, very dark, high up, you can get high up. I've also been to South Africa. South Africa is very interesting because in South Africa you see different stars, stars, stars. In the Southern Hemisphere, you see different stars to what we see down here. So astrophotography for me has really, really got me out and about. And I'd like to take you with me. So what I'm planning to do is to go out and about with my camera when I'm on my trips and show how I plan a shot and how I get there. I try to show you how I set up and what I want and hopefully the final outcome if, if, if I manage to get the shot. It doesn't always work, it, it doesn't always work, but when it does, it's magical. So, so I look forward to doing more videos and hopefully I'll be putting more videos out than once, one a month. I think I probably need to do more than that, but uh, press the subscribe button if this appeals to you and also hit the like button and that, that'll really help me. Thank you. I would just like to add that even if you're not a photography fan, um, still still subscribe because I'll be taking you to some amazing places and I just want you to be able to see the kind of places that I go to. The really spectacular landscapes up and down the country, mainly in the UK. In the next episode, I'm going to be going into a bit more detail on the gear that I use, so look forward to my next episode.